just fell down. We should cry. Sadness, no! <laughs> ah, we can't cry in front of other kids! Stop her! Uh, stop it, Sadness! <laughs> I can't help it, Joy. I'm entering a sadness spiral. <laughs> Disgusting. Just getting tears on Joy, me. Joy, calm her down! Uh, okay, uh, how about we stop being sad and, um... <laughs> uh, hey, look at this! I'm doing the happy dance. I'm not wearing any pants. Something, something, France. I'm doing the happy dance. Hey! Your desperation makes me sad. <laughs> okay, forget that. Um, how about we turn that frown upside down, huh? All right, good hustle, everyone. Now let's get some ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream. Hello, anger. Get off of me. Which it probably will be. Oh, sadness. I have a super important job just for you. Really? Mm-hmm. Follow me. What are you doing? And there. Perfect. This is the circle of sadness. Your job is to make sure that all the sadness stays inside of it. We've been talking all about emotions in the last month or so, and I'm not sure if you've watched the movie Inside Out, but if you have, you maybe have felt like me, where sadness just feels like the worst. She's always messing everything up, and she just seems like she's so annoying. And like even in her own little circle, I just wanted to get rid of her. She just seemed like she was terrible. And so I don't know if you guys have felt a little bit sad these last few days and would rather just get rid of all of that sadness than have to actually deal with it. But do you know what? We've got hope. Uh, Paul has written this letter and he tells us a lot about how we can deal with our sadness. So in this letter, he talks about how he is going through such a hard time. It's more than he can stand. It says that he even feels like he's going to die. So that's what we're going to read about in his letter to the Corinthians. So this is what it says. He said, but that happened so that we would not depend on ourselves, but on God. He raises the dead to life. God has saved us from deadly dangers, and he will continue to do it. We have put our hope in him. He will continue to save us. You must help us by praying for us. Then many people will give thanks because of what will happen to us. They will thank God for his kindness to us in answer to the prayers of many. So Paul's starting to look at things that can be better, and so he's looking at the good things that come out of something. So I was kind of doing that too. Yeah, we're sad that we can't see our friends and that things aren't like they used to be, but there are some good things that have been happening too. I'm not sure if you were a family that was maybe super busy all the time and you just kind of needed to slow down. Well, now it has been the chance. There's been a lot of people that have been able to slow down. There's no distraction of sports or work or school for a lot of people too. And so we've been able to slow down and that is a really good thing. And another thing that I've noticed is that people are really caring about their community. So we've been told to stay home, and it's not because the coronavirus is really deadly for a lot of people, it's not, but it is for some people. So if we protect ourselves from not getting it so that we don't spread it to other people, we're really taking care of some people. And so that's a really good thing. The other thing that's really great is we've seen people that have been working really hard to encourage the people who are still working. And we've seen people that have been giving generously to people who are having a hard time right now. So it has been really great to see how people have been caring about their community. So I think that's a really great thing too. And sadness is good for some other stuff too. This is something else that he says here. Give praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Father who gives tender love. All comfort comes from him. He comforts us in all of our troubles. Now we can comfort others when they are in trouble. We ourselves receive comfort from God. So we are able to help people when we've been sad because we know what people are going through. And that really is helpful when we can be talking to other people about that. So God can use our sadness for good. And sadness does that in the movie as well. No! I'm going to the moon! <sighs> Riley can't be done with me. Hey, it's going to be okay. We can fix this. We just need to get back to headquarters. Which way to the train station? I had a whole trip planned for us. Hey, who's ticklish, huh? Here comes the tickle monster! Hey, Bing Bong, look at this. 
Oh, here's a fun game. You point to the train station and we all go there. Won't that be fun? Come on, let's go to the train station. I'm sorry they took your rocket. They took something that you loved. It's gone. Forever. Sadness. Don't make him feel worse. Sorry. It's all I had left of Riley. I bet you and Riley had great adventures. Oh, they were wonderful. Once we flew back in time, we had breakfast twice that day. Sadness. It sounds amazing. I bet Riley liked it. Oh, she did. We were best friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay now. Come on, the train station is this way. You know what? There's even more that sadness is good for. If we skip ahead a few chapters, listen to what Paul writes. God has shown me amazing and wonderful things. People should not think more of me because of it. So I wouldn't become proud of myself. I was given a problem. This problem caused pain in my body. It is a messenger from Satan to make me suffer. Three times I begged the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is all you need. My power is strongest when you are weak. So I'm very happy to brag about how weak I am. Then Christ's power can rest on me. Because of how I suffered for Christ, I'm glad that I am weak. I'm glad in hard times. I'm glad when people say mean things about me. I'm glad when things are difficult. And I am glad when people make me suffer. When I am weak, I am strong. So when we are super sad and we just feel like we can't do it anymore and we're going into a spiral just like sadness was, if we go to God, we can be strong, even stronger than we were before. And so that is a great thing that sadness reminds us to go to God so that we can be strong. <laughs>